The death of a U.S. Capitol police officer after the insurrection back in January has now been ruled a natural death. The D.C. medical examiner says Officer Brian Sicknick died of a stroke. Amy Wattis explains why that ruling could make things more difficult for prosecutors and what it means for two local men charged with assaulting Sicknick. The Washington, D.C. Medical Examiner's Office determined that U.S. Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick suffered strokes and died of natural causes one day after responding to the January 6th insurrection at the U.S. Capitol. Investigators initially suspected the 42-year-old was hit in the head with a fire extinguisher and later thought he might have ingested bear spray, which may have contributed to his death. But now this ruling could significantly inhibit the ability of federal prosecutors bringing homicide charges in Sicknick's death. Federal prosecutors have charged two men with using bear spray on Sicknick during the riot at the Capitol. George Tanios from Morgantown and Julian Cater from State College. Tanios owns a sandwich shop on the edge of WVU's campus. Cater is the man in a video obtained by the FBI that showed him spraying Sicknick and others with bear spray, according to court papers. U.S. Capitol Police say the agency accepted the Emmy's findings, but reinforced that the ruling does not change the fact that Sicknick died in the line of duty defending Congress and the Capitol. Tanios and Cater were charged with assaulting Officer Sicknick, but the big question, will those charges change with the medical examiner's ruling? We reached out to the U.S. Attorney's Office in Washington, D.C. for that answer and are waiting to hear back. Amy Wannis, KDKA News.